Jordan describes the terrifying experience of living in Israel in the midst of Hamas attacks. She says her family spent several days staying with her in-laws who have bomb shelters in their homes. But even that didn't provide a sense of safety for Woken, who feared a ground invasion. We were kind of locking the houses and then the kids got scared. They're like, even when we're in the shelter, they were like, how do we know that they're not going to come in to our houses? And there were rumors that they're um, Hamas um, terrorist in Tel Aviv, so that was scary. She says she made the tough decision to fly to New York with two of her children, hoping to flee to safety, but left behind with her husband, her oldest son, who stayed to help others in need. I had a discussion with my husband, and I think the um, the main point was um, the concern that they're going to um, that uh, will we are. Um, and that will be hit very hard from the north and that the airports are going to be shut down. After getting settled into her apartment, Woken has spent the past week helping assist other Israeli families arriving to New York, hoping to take her mind off of the conflict and praying for better days ahead. I rather come to New York um, uh, with my kids um, when, when there are quiet times in Israel. You can't really enjoy anything when so many people are suffering.